could win Corrupted Sonic.exe or Evil Boss, baby. It is Sonic. Oh. Yeah. Dude, this is so tough. This is impossible, bro. It was boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness, who would win between Mario.exe and the Squid Game Doll? It was Squid Game Doll, we got that right! Cool. What is up guys, welcome to this episode of Leggy Box! Yeah! Today we are playing this insane who would win game! But before we get into it guys, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this video, Heroes of Gujitsu! Do you have the power to shift the goo? Introducing Heroes of Gujitsu, Goo Shifters, Primal Power, and the Stretch and Strike Thrash Mobile! This is Heroes of Gujitsu's most innovative season yet! Crush their core to activate their goo formation and release their inner power! Watch as the goo inside their bodies changes colors before your eyes! Primal Power characters like Thrash and Rockjaw have returned to their primal forms of a shark and a crocodile, both with Power Core goo formations and chomping jaw action! The Stretch and Strike Thrash Mobile is the first ever Gujitsu vehicle. Play in cruiser or attack mode with your exclusive race suit thrash. Heroes of Gujitsu Goo Shifter Power Course are a one-time burst transformation experience. You literally stretch and squish your Gujitsu heroes and they will always come back to their original shape so they can save the day again and again. Make sure to check out the links in our description to check out Heroes of Gujitsu for yourselves. Let's go! Okay, now who would win between Paw Patrol and Talking Tom's team. Oh man, guys, play along. See if you agree with who we pick. You already know I gotta go with Paw Patrol, bro. Mm, I don't know. I mean, what if Talking Tom's team like ate a bunch of food and got a bunch of energy and then they could just oof all of Paw Patrol? No, don't oof Paw Patrol. <laughs> I love Paw Patrol. I feel like Paw Patrol win because look, they outnumber Talking Tom. Although Talking Tom's team does have superpowers, so it would be close. But I would say Paw Patrol because they have more members. Okay, I'm gonna lock in Talking Tom's team. How dare you, Adam? Okay, let's see who would win. Let's go. It'd be a draw? No way! They're evenly matched. Okay, now who would win? Evil Talking Ben or Bruno? <laughs> I actually don't know. This is really tricky because Evil Talking Ben would be like bang, 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 bang. Ha, ha, ha. No, yes. But Bruno can see into the future. Oh, right. Bruno will be able to look into the future and know what Ben's going to attack him with. Oh, yeah. So I feel like for that reason, Bruno would win. Although Evil Talking Ben would probably make a bunch of like evil potions that would like, you know how he can make a potion that like makes an explosion? He might like make that potion and then throw it at Bruno. Oh, you're right now. Obviously, we don't talk about Bruno, but what yep. does Talking Ben love to do? Dude, he likes to talk, bro. And I bet Talking Ben would talk all about Bruno. Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I, I, I would say it's Bruno. It's got, it's got to be Bruno, because Bruno could see the future, and Talking Ben talks about Bruno. I'm locking in Bruno as well. Let's lock in Bruno. Everyone play along at home. Lock in your guess who would win. It was Bruno. Cool. Okay, now who would win? Corrupted Sonic.exe or Evil Boss, baby? Oh, man. This one's tricky, guys. Bro, I feel like Sonic has super speed, so he should win. But Evil Boss, baby, could be like, <laughs> you're fired, and then fire him. That's true. I feel like the Boss Baby would call Sonic a boomer. Boomer. Bro, Evil Boss Baby called a boomer. <laughs> You're being a bo bo boomer right now, Adam. Wow, this is tricky, guys. This is very tricky. Yeah, Evil Boss Baby would come in with the okay boomer. And then, <laughs> oof, Sonic. I feel like Evil Boss Baby, even though he does look really scary. Oh, look at his teeth. I feel like he doesn't really have any abilities. Whereas Corrupted Sonic, first of all, he's corrupted. And second, he could run really fast. So I'm going to go with Sonic. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stick with my gut and, and go with Evil Boss Baby. Okay, I'm going to go Sonic. Adam's going to go Boss Baby. Who's going to win? It is Sonic. Yeah. Oh. Okay, now who would win? Dr. Eggman or Luisa? Oh, man. Now, Bruh. this one, this is evenly matched. Th this is a really close battle because they're both really strong. Yeah. And Dr. Eggman, he has a bunch of robots that work for him, but Luisa has super strength. 
Right, that's true, that's true. Now, I think Louisa would be able to punch all of Dr. Eggman's robots. Bro, she could pick up boulders and smash all the robots. That's true. Right? I mean, she literally carries donkeys for fun. Bruh, 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 <laughs> bruh, bruh, bruh. But Dr. Eggman, he's so strong, he could almost take down Sonic. So I'm going to go with Dr. Eggman. I think he could win. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Louisa. Okay, let's see who wins. Oh, it was Louisa! Yeah! <laughs> uh, okay, now who would win? Montgomery Gator or <laughs> Vanny? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think probably Vanny. She's so scary. Yeah, dude. I mean, Vanny, I think she would shine her flashlight right into the eyes of Montgomery Gator and blind him. Bruh, bruh. <laughs> Vanny, Vanny would probably call Vanny's granny. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? But, okay, wait. Vanny, what is her weapon? It's like a blade, right? She's got like a blade. Right, she like skips around and then uh, slices people. Oh, what is Montgomery Gator's attack? Uh, I think he like uh, chomps people. Who would win, Blade or Chomp? I'm probably gonna say Chomp. I'm gonna say the Blade. I feel like Vanny's got this one, bro. All right, let's find out, guys. I'm gonna lock in Monty Gator. I'm gonna lock in Vanny. It was Montgomery Gator. Nah. Cool. Okay, now who's gonna win here, Groom? Who's looking absolutely swagged out <laughs> or the minions? Oh man, now this is tricky because there's a lot of minions and the minions are like indestructible. They are? Yeah, they like don't take uh, any like damage or anything. Banana, banana, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I, I, I count money, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 say the, probably the minions will win if they're indestructible, you know what I mean? That's bruh, true, bruh, 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 bruh. that's true. I would go with the minions. They're really indestructible. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Gru because I know in the new The Rise of Gru movie, yeah. the Minions movie, yeah. he had yeah. like a blaster with a sticky hand on it to grab stuff and I bet oh. he, could, he could use that against the minions. Oh, man, but there's too many minions. He wouldn't be able to get them all. I'm going to go with the minions. I'm going to go with Gru. Let's see who would win. It is the minions. Yeah. Oh, man. Who would win? Miraculous Ladybug or Cat Noir? Now, obviously, they're best friends in the show. They would never turn against each other. But hypothetically, if they did, who would win? Here's what I think would go down. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready, bro. I think Miraculous Ladybug would take out her yo-yo and try to tie up Cat Noir with it. No. Oh. But, but. I <laughs> What's so funny? I think Cat Noir would take out his cat claws and slice the string on the yo-yo. Bruh. And bruh, then he would bruh. be able to slice Miraculous Ladybug and oof her. Don't no, no. Miraculous Ladybug never get oofed. How dare you say that, Adam? I don't know. That's what I think would happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock in Cat Noir. That's so crazy to me. Especially knowing that Adam has a little crush on Miraculous <laughs> Ladybug. <laughs> That's crazy you would say that, bro. I don't have a crush yeah, yeah, on you everyone. Do. Yeah, you do, bro. And no. that's crazy you would say that. I feel like Ladybug will win, bro. Because Ladybug is just, she got so much swag. You know what I mean? And they took down Hawk Moth. So I bet she would take down Cat Noir. But they're friends. They would never fight each other. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'm still going to stick with Cat Noir. All right, I'm going to go with Ladybug. Let's see who would win. It's a draw. They're perfectly evenly matched. Awesome. Okay, now who's going to win? May Lee from turning red or Luca? <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know why Luca look like that, bro. He looks kind of bored. Here's what I think would happen. Yeah. I think Luca would ask May Lee to go to the Four Town concert on his Vespa. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah? But then, while he's driving her, he would push her off his Vespa and oof her. Why would he do that? <laughs> He'll probably say, you want some spaghetti? <laughs> Are you ready for the spaghetti? <laughs> and then May Lee will oof him. I, you know, I feel like it'd be May Lee, because she's huge. Well, I, I feel like she's a lot larger than Luca. I, it's really hard to say, because if they're fighting on land, you know what I mean? <laughs> May Lee's gonna win, you know what I mean? But if they're fighting underwater, I think Luca would come in on the rah, 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 rah Vespa. <laughs> in the Rari Vespa. And he would oof May Lee.
Right, right because he probably he would drive the Vespa off a cliff into water and Melee wouldn't be able to swim. Yeah, and he would become a sea monster. Sea monster! <laughs> I would say it's Melee, bro. I give the upper hand to Melee. I'm locking in Luca. Adam's locking in Luca. Let's see who wins. <laughs> it's another draw. They're perfectly evenly matched, bro. Wow. Oh my goodness. Who would win between Mario.exe and the Squid Game doll? Red light, green light. You know what I mean? Dude, wait a minute. What are the colors of Mario and Luigi? Bro, red and green. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. So, she, the, the Squid Game doll would be able to tell Mario and Luigi apart. <laughs> Wait a minute. And Luigi's green light. So, Luigi would probably be friends with the Squid Game doll. You know what I mean? But oh. Mario is red. And she would say, red light. And then she would, oof, Mario. Wow. I bet. The Squid Game doll would try to sweeten up Mario with some honeycomb candy, but what? he he would use a, a, a fire flower on her and melt what? the honeycomb. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what, if Mario, what if Mario eats uh, like a golden star though and goes dun, 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 <laughs> and he can't get oofed? On Rainbow what? Road. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. I'm sticking with Bruh. Squid Game Doll, dude. Bruh. Yeet. Bruh. I'm going to go also with Squid Game Doll because I don't think Mario.exe could eat stars. And I really think we're onto something with Red Light, Green Light. He's Red Light, bro. All right, let's see it. It won Squid Game Doll. We got that right. Cool. Oh, man. Who would win Sun Boss versus Moon Boss? I already feel like there's going to be a draw because they're the same person. You know what I mean? I like that guess a lot. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and straight away lock and draw. But think about this though. Sun Boss is really nice. He's just like, you made a mess. He's not angry. Moon Boss wants to oof people. So I might give the upper hand to Moon Boss. Ooh, but I bet the Sun Boss would just turn back on the lights and then oof Moon Boss. Bruh, bruh, yeah. Bruh, so bruh. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my gut and go with a draw. I'm gonna 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 go with the moon boss, bro. I'm gonna go with the moon boss. Okay. It was the draw. You were right. Nice. So, man, who would win, corrupted Pico or corrupted boyfriend? Oh, dude, this is so tough. This is so scary, bro. Now here's what I think would happen. Okay. I think Pico would try to steal girlfriend from boyfriend. Oh yeah? And, and, and he would try to break corrupted boyfriend's heart and then when he's crying and, and about to give up, that's when Pico would come in and, and throw his microphone at boyfriend and oof him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like boyfriend would win because he could call a girlfriend and daddy and mommy and they would oof Pico. Oh, you're right. I forgot about the whole family. Yeah, he call in daddy dearest who would oof Pico. I'm going to go with boyfriend, bro. I'll stick with Pico. That was boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who would win? PJ Pugapillar or Amanda the Adventurer? Oh, dude, this is so tricky, but I have a guess. Yeah, what? It hit me, dude. I think Amanda the Adventurer would, would win because she yeah. would call in the Meat Man and turn yeah. PJ Pugapillar into meat. And turn it into PJ Meat Miller. Exactly, dude. The Meat Man would chop up PJ Pugapillar. Turn him into Meat J Meat a Pillar. Yeah, and she could even call in Wooly. Dude, I, I, I knew right away it'd be a man of the adventure because PJ Pugapillar almost kind of looks like Wooly. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. They they look identical. So she be she be chopping them up, you know, chop it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> she can chop him up, turn him into some Pugapillar meat. Oh no. Bro, dude. what do you think Pugapillar meat tastes like? Probably chicken. What? Yeah. It tastes like some chill. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we're both in agreement. It's gotta be Man of the Adventure. Lock in your guesses at home. It's a draw? Are you serious? No way! I mean, I guess that makes sense. PJ Pugapillar is like 900 feet tall, you know what I mean? Yeah. Who would win Karate Sandy Cheeks or Bunzo Bunny? Now guys, this is tricky. Sandy from SpongeBob is super tough and really good at fighting, but 
Bunzo Bunny is also very scary. I think Bunzo Bunny will win because Bunzo Bunny will put Sandy in his tummy. You know what I mean? In the Bunzo Bunny tummy. You know what I mean? You're right, dude. You're right. Man, that's tricky. I think Bunzo Bunny will come in with the symbols <laughs> and he will throw them and it will hit Sandy um, in the head. You know what I mean? Right. I bet he would use his symbols to clap like her, her head or something and <laughs> squish her like a pancake. <laughs> So I'm gonna lock in Bunzo Bunny. I'm gonna go with Bunzo Bunny and just cause he got that swag. Look at him, bro. <laughs> and Bunzo, if he gets in trouble, he could call mommy long legs. Right, exactly. But Sandy could call him Squidward. <laughs> Squidward. You know what I mean? And, and Squid, Gary. Then Gary. Meow, and then Squidward can play his clarinet and put Bunzo Bunny to sleep. Exactly. And then Gary would cover Bunzo Bunny with a bunch of snail jelly DNA. Oh! So slimy. It's slime on him. Exactly, dude. Oh, man. I'm still going to stick with Bunzo Bunny, though. All right. Me too. All right. Man, let's go. It was Bunzo Bunny. Cool. Who would win, Shadow or Thor? This is impossible, bro. Okay, guys. Now, this is very tricky because Shadow is super tough, but Thor has Thor's hammer. I think it's... I think it's gotta be Shadow, though, man. He's got super speed. So he can just run really fast around Thor. Thor can never catch him. That's true, but... Thor would probably be able to call in all the other Avengers, like uh, Captain America and the Black Widow. Bro, but Shadow could call in Sonic and Amy, and Adam has actually a crush. <laughs> Adam has a crush on Amy. So, I'm gonna go with Shadow. I don't have a crush on Amy from Sonic. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, no, you do. I don't. Yes, he does. He's told me, guys, it was Adam's secret. I'm leaking it, okay? Now, I think it's gotta be Shadow. He could also call in Big Cat, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm gonna lock in Thor because I think Thor would just ask Thanos to snap and Thanos would snap and just remove the Infinity Stones from Sonic. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go with Shadow. Let's see who wins. <laughs> no! It was Thor. Oh my goodness. Who would win? Tails or Marshall? <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness. I can't pick, dude. I can't pick. Guys, play along. See if you agree with what we are saying. I can't pick. I, it, make sure you guys are playing along and everyone agrees with what we are saying. Because this is high level, guys. I would say it's Marshall. It's got to be Marshall. Mm, okay, what do you think Marshall would do to Tails to oof him? He'd probably uh, squirt a bunch of water on him. <laughs> Right, he would use his firefighter hose to hose down tail. <laughs> Dude. That's what I just said. <laughs> you just said it in a different way. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm going to lock in Marshall as well. Yeah, we got to go with Marshalls, bro. No way Tails is winning. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, my goodness, bro. Who can win thick Tom or thick Jerry? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Guys, I don't know about think, this. Think long and hard about your answers for this. This is very <laughs> I gotta go with Thick Jerry, bro. Look at Thick Jerry. Thick Jerry's like happy he's thick. Thick Tom looks like he's down bad. You know what I mean? What's so funny? What like what is funny right here, bro? What's funny? Like Guys. I've been looking like Thick Jerry. Adam looks like Thick Tom. Guys, if any of you are watching this video right now, you guys are amazing. Obviously, dude. We got yeah. the coolest viewers ever. Now, I think Thick Tom would actually be able to win. Thick Tom is what Adam looks like after a gallon of milk. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go with Thick Jerry, dude. Because in Tom and Jerry, Jerry always wins. Right, but I'm gonna stick with my gut and go with Thick Tom. Alright, let's see who wins. No! Go on it! I get it. Because Thick Tom probably got all thick by eating Jerry. Oh! Oh, oh man. <laughs> Who will win? Wario or Sonic? Okay. Now, I, I have a hunch what Justin's going to say here. My hunch is that it would probably be Sonic would win. You don't think Wario would win? No, I, I think Adam will choose Wario, though, because he, <laughs> he and Wario are very similar. <laughs> 
I think Wario would be able to use his Wario yep. motorbike and yep. run over Sonic. If Adam was Wario, who he, he looks up to, he would use Wario's fart attack. <laughs> Because I'm like Sonic. I run super fast. You know what I mean? Right. I, I win. I win against Adam. So I'm like Sonic. Adam's like Wario. All right. I'll lock in Wario. It was Sonic. Let's go. All right, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Go check out LankyBoxShop.com. Get LankyBox plushies. That was awesome, man. We had to choose who would be the loser and who would be the winner. Let's go get some dinner. Yeah. <laughs>